I think if we're um, going back to what was it, the 60s, right? Uh, yeah, I think 1960s. It was, yeah, was it Lyndon so B. Right. Johnson? When Lyndon B. Johnson, yeah. He started mm -hmm. adding all the, the civil rights right. uh, and voting, voting rights. <laughs> and that was. I don't know because that's a little bit on the we have we're having mixed conversations on that there are a lot of people that say well he actually introduced you know all these programs so welfare programs mm -hmm. but the social welfare policies initiated in the 60s have diabolically harmed the black communities mm -hmm. my understanding is that the democrats by positioning themselves as the allies of these communities have made them more reliant on assistance thereby undermining their independence and strength. What are your thoughts on that? It was interesting because huh. when welfare was first created, it was called aid to dependent, dependent families with children. When white people applied, that's what it was. But when black people applied, it was basically after daddy cut out. So it was two different standards. White families, the entire family, male, female, and children, could receive public aid. Black families couldn't. If right. there was a father that was present in the home, they would not allow them to have public aid. So it became a perception. And the perception became that, you know, black people are living off of public aid. But the truth was, per capita, there were more whites living off of public aid than black people. So it became a stereotype. And we became victimized by those stereotypes. And as a result, we had to fight for justification just to prove that we were as worthy as anyone else. You have to remember, uh, when integration came about, that meant that black people could finally go into white stores. But the question was, were you shopping while black? Because they would follow you around, especially if you went into the downtown clothing stores or places like that, or department stores. And department stores were a new concept. Whereas prior to that, Blacks had shopped in their own community and as a result you had a lot of black businesses that were flourishing and, and thriving. But when integration came about, whites didn't come and shop in the black stores. Blacks left the black stores and started shopping in the white stores and all of those black businesses failed. So that really was a, a downfall. I mean, not quite as bad as um, Black Wall Street, but it was also a failure of society.